Hey everyone! Sorry, the lighting in here is really, really crappy. This is my bedroom and the light is always yellow and really terrible for filming. What I'm doing right now is this little thing called Vlogmas. If you don't know what Vlogmas is, basically um, you vlog every day from December 1st to 25th. So it's like, I believe, so it's like a Christmas vlog advent calendar sort of thing. But um, I figured, you know, because I've been neglecting YouTube so much since school started, I would kind of try to give back to you guys by doing this and um, vlogging every day until Christmas, starting today. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit difficult because I do not have much experience at vlogging and it's I have a very difficult time vlogging in public or where other people can hear me. That's why I'm in my room with the crappy lighting because I don't want people hearing me, but my dad can probably hear me anyway. So I guess I have a couple of short or quick announcements. Um, first of all, obviously my hair. If you've seen my previous videos, my hair has been long and blonde. I decided to cut it short and dye it temporarily dark brown because in the play that just got done, I, did, I was um, a Puerto Rican male, which was very odd. <laughs> But it was really, really fun. Um, we did West Side Story, and it just got done yesterday, and I'm really sad. But good news is I did get a bit of footage from behind-the-scenes stuff, and I will be uploading that hopefully soon. Some more news is that that thing that I told you guys about that I'm doing soon, yeah, I'm doing that in two days. So I don't know if I'm going to tell you what it is yet, but you'll know really quick. So, um, basically... Some, most of my vlogs are going to be pretty short because I just can't, I can't film at school and I don't really have a lot of time outside of school. Like, practices are done now, but today I had to go to my grandparents and I didn't film there because that would have been weird. So, off the bat, not off to a great start. But I'm going to try my best to see how far we can get with this. So, it is currently, what time is it? It is about 7.40 almost. So what I have to do now is, we just got back from, um, my dad picked us up, picked me up from my grandparents, uh, we went to Winners quickly to grab some socks, he needed some socks, and now I have to get my, the rest of my homework done. Um, I have some homework and I have to do a bit of research, I believe, I have to, I have a project. So I'm gonna get some of that done, hopefully, and I'll try to bring you with me along this quick little homework journey. So that's probably what most of my vlogs are going to look like. Merry Christmas, everybody. On the homework list today, we have a bunch of sonnets for English class. Literally a lot of sonnets and poems about love. It's like Elizabethan poetry for lit, and I had to answer a bunch of questions on all of those poems. Here are the questions. I've already done that. Um, had to do some vocabulary. That was just English. What I'm doing now is I almost finished. These are questions for CivComp, which is um, comparative civilizations, but French immersion style, because I'm Canadian and I speak French, sort of. May we? Oui. Um, I'm almost done. Just have two questions left, and after that I have to hit the computer and do a bit of um, research for a project that I'm going to be missing while I am out doing that cool thing and I will be missing a lot of work days because it's more than one day. This is what I've done so far of my CivComp homework um, and the page before that. Um, it's really unfortunate because I have two questions left and room enough for one more answer. So I'm literally gonna have to start another page for one answer. Also I've been told that my writing is immaculate. I disagree but let me know your thoughts in the comments below, I guess, and just validate my own writing. Cool, Aaron. Um, so I managed to fit it all on one paper. Um, I did kind of go down into the bottom <laughs> out of the lines, though. That was close. I kind of had to paraphrase a little bit. Also, fun fact, this slightly demonic thing is what I'm attempting to make in ceramics right now. Yes, I drew that in English class, just trying to brainstorm. Those are supposed to be bat wings. My teacher thought it was a maple leaf, but that actually, I kind of like that idea. Like, if you had a maple, we a, a maple leaf kind of wing thing going on, 
Um, I don't know. It's taking a long time though, and now I'm gonna fall behind again. So that probably wasn't my best idea ever. Okay, so now off to the computer to get some research done and make a PowerPoint, or start on a PowerPoint. Hooray! Here we are in the office. Forgive the spot on my forehead. It just decided to pop open and start bleeding, which was extremely rude. So now I'm going to be doing research for a PowerPoint project. We have to do a project on some influential figure in history. It doesn't matter when it was. Could be 20 years ago, could be 200 years ago. Um, and I decided to do Walt Disney because I'm a Disney fanatic. And here comes Avery to judge me for talking to a camera. Hi, Avery. Dad's in the garage. Okay. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to do a PowerPoint if I have time to on Walt Disney, which means I kind of need to get to work now. So bye for now, I guess. We got some PowerPoint. We got some books about Disney. And in a second, as soon as I find it, we've got Disney music to get in the mood. Oh yeah. So homework is done and I got a good start on my project. So I'm gonna work more on that tomorrow after school and um, possibly when we get back. Although I really won't want to then. So um, I have two more things to do tonight. I'm going to ask my mom something when she gets home from work, which should be any minute, really. And I need to start packing. It's that kind of thing, where it's going to be for a few days, actually five days. I'm going on a trip, basically. And I'm going to vlog it, and now I have to start packing, because we leave on Wednesday. This is my huge suitcase. Um, there's a big one and a small one, and I was just going to go with the small one, because I'm not planning on bringing a lot of clothes. But my brother kind of took the small one. Uh, yeah. And I mean, I guess this is probably better because I am planning on doing some of my Christmas shopping. And by some, I mean most of my Christmas shopping while we're there. So I do want to have enough suitcase space to bring back some purchases. So I just, I didn't want to mention that before. But I guess if my parents watch these videos, which they don't, they'll see anyway. So if you'll excuse me, I'm just going to start packing. Empty suitcase, two pairs of jeans, neglecting the ones that I am currently wearing and the ones that are in the laundry pile. Two long-sleeved t-shirts, because I don't know how warm or cold it's gonna be. There's two pairs of super cute shorts, three short-sleeved shirts, three tank tops, two sleeveless tops. I don't know if it'll be warm enough for those, but one of them is colored exactly like Nemo, so if I get that chance, I have to wear it. One pajama top that I occasionally wear in summer when it's really hot that isn't actually a pajama top but I really like it but I don't know if I'll wear it at all but I'm bringing it because I like it and if I get that chance I will try to wear it. One flannel top that I always wear over that blue t-shirt that I love. My dad's old Mickey Mouse sweatshirt that he got years ago that he gave to me that I'm actually currently wearing as um, PJs, so it won't stay in there very long. The pajama bottoms, or the pajama top that I will actually be wearing. My West Side Story t-shirt that I will actually be wearing tomorrow to school, so I can't leave that in there either. This gray hoodie that has camouflage inside the hood that I love and is very comfortable with extremely long drawstrings. This army green jacket that I stole, uh, I, I mean borrowed and never gave back to my mom, that I think will go really really well with my um, Nemo t-shirt, or with anything else. Actually, that reminds me, I should get my Camp Half-Blood shirt. One second. Camp Half-Blood shirt that I made myself. This is getting way more full than I was expecting it to. A hat or four? Well, okay, okay, maybe not the Minnie Mouse hat, but, but I, don't, I don't know, I, I really like it. Also, I have a sock monkey toque in there. Also, I lost a hat the other day, and I really hope I find it again, because I really want to wear that one. A scarf or three. Yes, I know I probably won't need them. Maybe they won't all stay in there. We'll see. My fuzzy slippers. Yes, I'm bringing them with me, because my feet are always freezing in the morning, even in hotels. My absolutely adorable fingerless gloves. My Polaroid camera and film, which reminds me that I'm going to ask Dad to take me to Staples to 
buy some more film because I can only take 10 pictures at this rate and I don't think that'll be enough. So that. A book for the flight there and back. I am currently reading Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. I just took it out of the library today and I'm really liking it. Lots of hand sanitizer, lotion, and lip balms because you can never have too many of those. And various other things that I don't currently have in here right now such as socks that are in the laundry pile, um, clothes that are in the laundry pile, things that are downstairs, and little miscellaneous things that I just can't grab quite yet because I'm still using them before then. And that's pretty much what I'm packing. Um, on, honestly, I think some of that stuff is probably going to come out of there because that's a lot more than I was planning on packing and now I'm kind of almost out of room for anything I might bring back and I am planning on bringing stuff back. I am also going to bring a backpack but I don't want to have everything stuffed inside, which I have a tendency to do. Um, I'll, yeah, I'll be bringing some other stuff like my, okay, my stuffed animals, sure, say what you will. Um, a blanket, yes, my phone, which I'm filming on currently. Um, shoes, but I just have, I have those in the garage, I don't have them here right now. Um, I think that's probably it, maybe... Oh, I'll need my wallet with my money, obviously, but I didn't throw that in there just yet. Um, probably some of those scarves and hats will come out because honestly, I'm gonna be it's a five day thing, including travel days. So honestly, I don't need as much stuff as I threw in there, but now I really wanna show you my West Side t-shirt. So maybe I've shown you this before, or maybe you know me in person and you know that this shirt, but this is the cast um, and crew t-shirts that we all got for being in the play. Um, actually, we were charged for them, but I haven't paid yet. Um, oh, hey, wait, what's that? What's that? Why is there writing on it, Aaron? Why is there a little sunshine up in the corner and your name written inside and a bunch of weird um, handwritten stuff? Well, let me show you. Well, ta freaking duh, everybody. Yes, that's right. After the show, the final show, there was a big cast and crew party, and I got everybody to sign my shirt with fabric markers. And it is a masterpiece, and I love it so much. It even goes up onto the sleeves, and it's in all different colors, and people wrote cute little messages to me, for example, Krupp You, and lyrics from songs, and compliments, and um, some people had a little bit of a war with the markers. And it's just, it's a masterpiece, and I'm definitely going to be repping the West Side when I go do this thing. So anyway, oof. <laughs> um, yeah, I think, oh, I'm gonna drop the camera. I think that's about all for today. So, um, sorry this was kind of a short vlog. I'm gonna try and make them longer from now on. Maybe try to slip in little things here and there. Like, I might show you my clay project because it doesn't really like say what school I'm at or anything like that. Um, and just little things like that, and I'm gonna try and... This would have been longer if I'd started right after school, but I was at my grandparents' and I didn't feel comfortable vlogging just yet. Also, my hair is doing a really cool thing right now. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for today. This was Vlogmas Day 1, and I will see you lovelies tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 2.